welcome to a basic overview of the Lightseekers card game. Whilst we've designed Lightseekers to be as streamlined as possible, it has several unique mechanics that we'll be covering in this guide. First up, you'll need to choose a hero. This choice tends to influence your general playstyle, but each hero can be played however you wish. Your hero's order will predetermine what cards you initially have access to. Storm, for example, only has access to lightning, water and air, the blue cards. Each deck consists of 35 cards, separated into 30 action cards and 5 combo cards. Action cards come in four forms, attack, defend, buff and item cards. Each action card can be included in your deck up to three times, but you can only have a single copy of each combo. So you've got a hero and a deck, it's time to jump into game. Each player takes a turn at a time with a series of phases. Phase one, start of a turn. Handle any cards that do something at the start of a turn. Phase two, the buff phase. Rotate all in play buffs that need rotating. After this, all buffs that aren't about to expire or have an X in the top left corner are considered active. Any buffs that have spun back around to the start or has rotated onto an empty corner are moved to the discard pile. Finally, trigger the effects of your buffs. Phase three, the action phase. Play a combo or take up to two actions. Playing a card or using an ability counts as an action. You can also pass. Phase four, draw cards. If you played a combo, draw one card. Otherwise, draw one card for each action you passed. That covers the basic flow of the Lightseekers card game. There's a lot more depth once you get into it, but everything you've learned here should help you hit the ground running. <laughs>